In this video, I'll be discussing the key thinker and famous geographer Friedrich Ratzel. Friedrich Ratzel was a German ethnographer and geographer born on the 30th of August 1844. Ratzel was most famously known for his concept of Lebensraum. He became a student of zoology at the universities of Heidelberg, Jena and Berlin, finishing in 1868. A year later, he finished his work, Sein und Werden der Organisation Welt, which was a commentary on Charles Darwin's ideas. After his schooling, Ratzel started to travel the world, doing a lot of field work in the Mediterranean and working as a reporter for a German newspaper, where his academic path took a turn from biology to geography. In 1880, he decided to become a geography lecturer at the Technological University in Munich, later getting appointed at the University of Leipzig, where he worked from 1886 to his death in 1904. So what was Ratzel's key theory of Lebensraum all about? Lebensraum, which translates to live in space, is Friedrich Ratzel's key theory which put him on the map. Ratzel's Lebensraum is highly influenced by Charles Darwin's ideas. Like natural selection, he believed that species, that species adapt to spatial and environmental dimensions. The adaptation of a species to its environment and the idea of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution are heavily embedded in the theory. Unfortunately, during the atrocities of World War II, Ratzel's concept of Lebensraum was used to justify the Nazis' actions in the war. The concept was perfect for conservative right-wing ideology and fit into the ideological framework of the German right. Ratzel's Lebensraum theory viewed a nation as an organism which must expand when demands within that organism need to be met. I.e., in the case of a nation, population demands of resources and space. The theory also believed that people would migrate and colonise space. If these people ever came into com conflict with the superior race, they would essentially be wiped out by the other group, suggesting that genocide is in fact a natural process. The relationship between Ratzel's theory of Lebensraum and the Nazis had a negative response. As a result, many theorists disassociated themselves with his work. So what was the wider influence of Ratzel's theory? Ratzel's work ended up being carried overseas to the United States. This was as a result of a woman called Ellen Semple, who was another key thinker. She was able to translate some of his work and spread it throughout the US. On top of this, she also made an effort to simplify his theories and make them more understandable for an English-speaking audience. As well as her, Ratzel also influenced a Swedish man called Kjellen. He was, he was obsessed with Ratzel's organic theory of state, developing further with it and suggesting that a state is not only characterised by its land, but by its nationality, including a nation's demography, economic social profile and its laws. So what are the current views on Ratzel's work? Ratzel's organic theory generally has been widely dismissed in the current day due to the fact that pacts, agreements and treaties have called for many ceasefires and are so are so abundant now, as well as being facilitated by massive organisations such as the United Nations that were not present in Ratzel's time. In this video, I'll be discussing the key thinker and famous geographer Friedrich Ratzel. Friedrich Ratzel was a German ethnographer and geographer born 